Nancy Dale from Inky Quill and Pop It. Say hi, Pop It. We've got a whole video for you today. Do you want to hop down? Yeah. Mwah. Say bye. There you go. <laughs> so today I have. Oh, you're just going to sit next to me? That's cute. Um, today I have a haul video for you and a few different bits and pieces from online, um, Kelly Winnell stamps, paper trends and spotlight. So let's get started. Alright, so first up I have some things that I found on eBay. Been getting a few bits and pieces. So I got this Fiskars water punch that I've been really, really, really wanting for a long time. Um, Sue's Fish, if you're watching, you've made me really want this because you, you gorgeous note paper board. Hi! I'm back. Now, if I look a little bit disheveled and not as excited, it's because it's taken me an hour and a half. I had no space and I had to delete stuff and then the deleting didn't work and then I had to re-delete and then that didn't work and then... So I'm going to entertain you with some photos of how I've been spending the last hour and a half while I've been watching my iPad do things, not do things, and then decide to trick me that it's doing things and then it's not. So here you go, here's what I've been up to. So, first off, now I've lost it, here it is. First thing I got, I've been going on eBay a little bit lately and picking up a few bits and pieces and I've been wanting this border punch for a long time. So, it's a Fiskars notebooky. that's what it looks like. Um, and I want to try experimenting doing some borders like Suze Fish does, if you're watching Susie. Um, she uses note paper and it just looks beautiful, but I can't... I found a notepad that I like and then I lost it. So I thought, why not get the punch and do some pattern paper ones? So I had a bit of an experiment in all my waiting time. And this is what I got. So obviously you tear that bit off and it gives you this beautiful notebook paper and I would kind of like smush it a little bit so it looks a bit distressed like I am right now um, so that's item number one number two also off eBay I got this India ink from Pebble there's probably a better way of pronouncing that than I just did I probably just ruined Spanish maybe? No, Japanese. Well, there's a Japanese, I think Japanese. Anyway, if you can read that, you probably be able to know what that says. But just some black India ink and it's got a, don't spill, it's got a drippy dropper, which will be fun. So I haven't used that yet, but I will soon. So that's number two. Um, I've also been going through a bit of a resin flower stage in my scrapping. So these are my favourites. They're little turquoise, little resin flowers. And they're about the size of a small fingernail. So, and they're a really pretty blue. They're like a really soft. This is my favourite colour. It's like a soft turquoise. So not a real tearly turquoise like that they're a lot softer so I got three of those little ones then I got a pack of pink ones and then I didn't read the sizing guide properly and so these ones are good these ones are normal size and I got um, these because this was the color of my bridesmaids dresses so hoping to use them in my wedding album and then I got these giant ones that like the size of my eyeball. So, um, yeah, they're a bit big, but we'll use them. And then I didn't read the size guide again. And I got these teeny tiny ones. Look at how little they are. They're minuscule. 
that are even smaller than those. So I want to find more of these because they're really, really cute. I'll get one out. Look, teeny, I'll let focus, teeny tiny, they're very cute. So I got those, if you just search um, resin flowers on eBay, there's so many colours and you can get mixed sets and they're only a couple of dollars each, so they're a good buy if you're on a bit of a budget. Um, they call them something else too, like, starts with C-A-B, it's like capuchons or... There's a fancy name for them, but resin flowers worked for me. Um, next up, I got some more stamps from Kelly Winnell because I loved my first little buy so much. So these ones are called, I think they're hashtag. I think that's what they were called. They're really cute. So I love this. I make stuff like a boss. So just really sweet little sayings. I love food. I'll use that so much. You make me laugh, you have me at hello. So a lot of really um, basic sayings that you could use for so many layouts. Great for Project Life. Um, and I think they also sold them in a half set as well. I think so. I got those. I also got this, which is so me. Chocolate create sleep repeat. That's me, especially with Easter coming up. And like I said in those last video, little freaking Capri eggs. Have I done these ones already? I have. I did it in my last video. Well, you had another look at them. and But you haven't seen this one. Um, Kelly has teamed up with... Oh my God, I've forgotten her name. I'll put her name here from polka dot oh i see her name like every day in my news feed um to do one little word custom stamp so my one little word for this year is organize and um because it's custom i like she's australian so it's with the s instead of the z um so i'm looking forward to using that a lot sorry about the repeat mm. all right new stuff now um, I went on to Paper Trends, um, which is an Australian online scrappy store, and got some goodies now. If you watched my last haul video, you'll know how freaking excited I am that I got these. They're the craft. Oh, I'm getting a bit of glare there. They're the craft market tiny freaking word stickers and they have gold foil on the top ones and they're craft with black on the bottom and I may have gotten several packages of them and I loved it when the the lady from Paper, Trend, Paper Trends emailed me just to confirm my order and she said um, I think she said something like dear tiny word sticker addict <laughs> Loud and proud. Um, so these, and they're really cute little sayings. So with the other word stickers, I find that some of them are a bit theme specific, um, especially the blue set. There's a lot of like farm fresh and, you know, from the kitchen of and a lot of things that I don't use all the time. But these are just really, really simple, like sweet little you, high five, my happy place, a lot of basic things. So. I got those, which I'm very excited about, if you can't tell. I also got the Craft Market stickers. So lots of pretty things. Love the navy in this. And that floral. And you also get some alphas, which is handy. Then from the Heidi Swap, I think it's Mem the memory planner collection. I got two packs of the hearts. I really like the stripy ones. I like them all actually. They're very, very me. So I got two packs of those and they're puffy. They're slightly puffy. Um, I also got two packs of the sheer stickers, which you've probably all seen before. 
So that's something like gold and silver foil. And I love the florals too. So I'll be using those in both. These would be great for project life. Oh, sorry. These would be great for project life and then use some of the big ones in um, 12 by 12 as well. And then I got some papers because I've been getting into, usually I buy paper pads and the quality of the paper is just a bit, how you going? And so I decided to treat myself. So this is the craft market cut apart. And can you see it's got gold glitter. So really cute. Cut apart the tags. You could hole punch that and put some twine through it as well and on the back it doesn't have the gold um, glitter but they're still really really pretty so I got two of them um, so I got two of those I got this is called create and it's a nice confetti and it's got gold foil I don't know if you can it's afternoon here so it's a bit dull and yucky but yeah take my word for it it's got gold foil on it and then a nice chevrony kind of pattern on the back I got this one which is called studio loving the polka dots and I love the little I love with crepe paper they do these little like washy bits and pieces which just gives it a bit of interest rather than having it so flat I got this one in a kit, so I knew I was going to use it up. So I got three of the stitching paper. So it's like a, it's kind of a navy and white, very dark navy and navy and cream, sorry. And then on the back, it's got a really nice triangle pattern on a light um, turquoise. And I got two of the hand painted, which is a really nice floral pattern that runs throughout the collection and I won't be using that side, it's like orangey, not a fan of orange. Um, so that's exciting, so that was all from Paper Trends and they were really quick too, um, super quick with their, I think I ordered it and had it within maybe four days or five days or something crazy. Next up this week I went down to um, Spotlight in Sydney at where'd I go, Bellrose, and met Amy Tan, so that was exciting. Um, I'll insert some pictures here. picked up any of her new collection that my um, local spotlight didn't have her new collection and so I thought that obviously the shop that she was visiting would have it so um, I went in and got a few bits and pieces so let me show you first up of course I did tiny word stickers and they're the same they're the same words but you get eight pages two of each color so they're really really cute and just the the same as as I was saying for the crepe paper ones a lot of really simple things like you make me happy good job let's get together always just plain wonderful a lot of really flexible things that you could use for anything I also got the washi tape um, booklet so I haven't opened it yet have a little looky. Oh, I like this map one. So they're just strips of washi tape and you get 48 designs. So you get, I think you get three pages. One, two, three, and then three of this one too. So my favorite I think it would have to be the map one because I haven't seen anything like that before. And I like this one too. And it's cute, it's got this so you can, like the her old sticker books did, so you don't have to worry about them peeling off. Then 
to go with my, wow, I'm very close. Why do I get so close? Um, to go with my roller stamp obsession, I got her new roller stamp, which is called Cara. And it's got teeny tiny skinny font, which is my favorite type of, type of font. So I'll show you what it says. Let's see if I can focus it. Focus. Nope. You'll just have to listen to me. So it says, this was awesome. Top 10. Can't forget. Here's the story. Today I will remember this. To-do list. Create. This happened. The best. On the list. And fun, fun, fun. So I'll be using that a whole lot. So you get 12 different um, little sayings. Very cute. And I got her new thickers, which are called Grace. So they're foam, which... I love because they stick so much better. Hang on, glare. I might undo these because the glare is just not my friend right now. Yeah. So they'd be great for 12 by 12 titles. They're even they're a really good small size rather than the um the gold Maggie Holmes thickers and her other ones, the black ones. Um they're a bit smaller, so you'd be able to use them with Project Life as well. So, look forward to using them. And I just got, I was tossing up between whether to get the 6x6 or the 12x12. And so the 6x6 was $10 and the 12x12 was $20. And I thought you get three times as much, so I might as well just go for the 12x12. Um, and she signed it. So, I'll probably frame that um, on my scrap disc. Maybe even, oh, do you know what would be really great? Framing it with glass over the top and then using it as like a little whiteboard to write memos and ideas in. So I'm not going to give you a big flick through because I'll try the best because you've probably already seen it, but lots of bright colours. There's some cutter parts in there. So lots of bits and pieces. And I should have brought over my... I did a little, a couple of little cards, so I might just photograph them and put them in here, but um, it was heaps of fun. Um, Amy signed my album and snapshotted some of my layouts to all of her peeps, so that was exciting. Um, there was only about maybe 15, 20 of us there. Pardon? It's Snapchat. What do I call it? Oh, I call it Snapshot, Snapchat, not up with the lingo, um, husband is obviously. Um, so she Snapchatted a couple of my layouts out to everyone and I met my new crafting BFF, Natalie, if you're watching this, hi! Um, so that was, it was a really good day and then, so it was Sunday and then Monday Heidi Swap came but I had to work so I didn't get to go but. Um, lots of fun times there and then because it was such a fabulous day I thought why not buy some more goodies so I boring things first I was out of tape so this is the tape I use someone asked what tape I use so it's called paper craft double-sided adhesive tape and you get three rolls for about seven dollars or something um, and I just get it from spotlight I'm not sure we would be able to get it internationally then, now, Nay, if you're watching this, you got me onto these because ever since you did your haul, with these freaking cute little gold bow things, I've been searching everywhere for them. And my local spotlight decided not to have any French fill things in there, so I've been searching high and low, and I found them. So, these are really cute. They're gold foil bows. Um, so I got a few packets of those and then also in that same, um, I think it's kind of like, not a home brand, but I think it's like a spotlight brand possibly, but they have heaps of cute stuff. So I got these stickers to get four sheets and they're gold foil. I love the little heart ones. Actually, I love all of them. Um, I also got a pack of the gold and craft tags. So you get... 20 so I'm guessing 10 that say hello and 10 with the triangles oh no two packs 
Um, and I got a pack of just the plain black tags because you got all of these bakers twine with it and they were only a couple of dollars. And this I thought was really cute. It's called paper ribbon, but it's like stitched bunting. And you get, you seem to get a lot of it, like 2.7 meters. That's a lot. So um, I'll be using that in my some of my 12 by 12 layouts. They had some discount on um, die cutting things, so I got these from Kayser Craft. One says love and one says adore. So they're really cute. I'm slowly working up to getting a silhouette. I desperately want one. Um, I also found, I think I had these before, but I used them all up. These are Kayser Craft um, little tags. I was on a bit of a craft kick, obviously, this day. Um, so yeah, just really cute. I found, I've been looking for this Christmas roller date stamp actually, and every, the online shops that I looked at, they were all sold out. So I managed to get this one, and it's cute, it comes with the um, phrases and the date. So I'm sure you've all seen it, it's, not, it's nothing new. Um, 2012 so I really like it says one of them says bar humbug I think that's really cute then I got some of the Heidi Swap mini stencils I already had one of them but this one um, is the pink pack and it's got a whole heap of patterns Can you see that patterns on it um, so I've been using them with modeling paste and gelatos so you get I really like the the triangles are probably my favorite on a bit of a triangle kick at the moment. Then, I hadn't seen this. Would have been perfect for my um, inspiration at home where I did the little floral plate, but it's the open book embossing folder and it's a beautiful floral pattern. So it's about four by six size. Um, so I'm really excited to use that. It'd be really pretty. And I got a few thickers. I got some Dear Lizzie, I really like the smaller size and you get, look at all those numbers and yeah, and you get ampersands and heaps of punctuation, you just get a heap, how many, 249, so worth the money there. Then I got another set of these because I really like them and I'm basically I'm up to the point where I should chuck out my old pack, but desperately trying to spell some things. I think I've only got maybe U's left. I'm trying to spell some words like um, cup or <laughs> just really bad words. Fun. I don't think I have N. Oh no, I could do a U. I could do fun. Maybe I'll just write fun like three times. Um, and another pack of these because I love them so much and why not? And I got another packet of these because I only had got one and which I get two. Anyway, I really like it. Um, it's from the Maggie Holmes open book. And I really love the alphas on there. Um, so, and that was pretty cheap. Then I got a few papers out of the, the clearance bin and these all seem to be from um, Bella Wedding. I don't know what company that is but a grey lace and then I don't like that side yeah so I use it for the grey lace I got I really like this one it's like a, a yellowy cream and gold foil polka dot and it's really thick too so I got two of those and a cream and gold stripe and a pink and silver foil. So that's all I got at Spotlight. Um, I also got some goodies from Citrus Twist and my new hip kit, but seeing so this video has gone for like 25 minutes, um, I might stop it there and I'll have another video for you very soon. So thanks for watching everyone and thanks for being patient with my technical problems. Not that you had to sit through them, but I feel like you had to sit through them. You had to sit through me after sitting through them, which is a new level of being off track.
Yep. All right. So have a great week, everyone.